<laughs> we are in the 22 BHE new floor plan in the Imagine line. So first when you come in, you see it's got the Murphy bed situation going on here. So it's your living room that just flips down. You know, I'm gonna do it just one time. I can't do it in all of them because there's just too many people here and we would just be in their way. But that simply just folds over just like that. There's a little pin up here. You just pull the pin out. I believe they're on, no, it's just on one side and it just comes down and there's your bed, okay? Yeah. So it is not, you know, you don't have to be all buff. It's not a hard thing. It, it, it's pretty, pretty simple. Hey, while you're up there though, like there's cubbies back there with power. Yep, cubbies for power for your, for your CPAPs and yep. stuff. There's a shelf up top for storing some clothes. And when you're going down the street, since the bed is up, they're not going to come out. Yep. <laughs> well, See, that worked mostly. Out. Yeah. Mostly. See, that actually worked out well, though, because we wouldn't have known about the cubbies for this. Yep. Cups. So let me hook this back up. All right. <laughs> there. And then this just flips right back over. Right? Not hard at all. Okay? Nope. Do have a couple holes in the middle. There's plenty of storage all the way around. It's mirrored on both sides. So I'll just open up one side. All right? So we've got a hanging bar, a couple drawers. And then you got a cabinet down here as well. Okay. And there's power in underneath that cabinet. Oh, sure right? is. Traditional yep. looking dinette right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't see doors, but let's see if there's some storage underneath. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's coming up with it, but yes, there's storage <laughs> underneath. Okay. Um, and that's on a piston system. So you just flip that open and press the thing down. And, there's and there is power, power underneath there on too. On each side. Love that. Yeah. And USB. Yes. So this would be your workstation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me, uh, there's a little uh, coffee bar under the TV. There sure right? is. So there's your TV. Uh, cubbies there. Coffee bar. Charging station. TV. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have the little galley style kitchen here. Um, we got a large single basin sink with a tall faucet. There's some, um, oh, and an add on shelf. I love that. Uh, there's some cabinetry here. Lots of detailed lighting over the cabinet. I yep, don't think do. I've seen that anywhere. Do, do, under do. Under the sink, we have some. It's not all the way in, but it's, it's generous. Yeah. Um, a couple of drawers here. Then over here, we've got a microwave with a little bit of storage above it. Um, we've got three burner a stove. three burner stove, uh, mini oven, mini oven yeah, big drawer, and a big drawer. Got your Furion 12 volt, nice refrigerator freezer, excellent. There's a food pantry next to it, All right? So, and that goes pretty deep. Both both sides do. But remember, this is also a bunkhouse. So behind Lisa are the bunks. All right. So if you're looking for a tiny travel trailer, and look again, talking about you want to be thrifty, you don't need the bunks, but you need storage, and you want an office, convert this, take this stuff out, or leave the top, just take this out. We, we covered ours with um, contact paper, like contact paper mm -hmm. so it's smooth, and we just put bins up there. Mm -hmm. And so we have plenty of storage up there, because this bunk can hold probably 250 pounds. So we don't have 250 pounds worth of stuff up there. But then we would take that out and put a little desk there or something, right? So anyway, but it's a little bunk area. There's some cubbies over here for putting clothes and things if it's for kids, right? Yeah. So, you know, if, if you're a small growing family and, and you need something to go on, you know, a week or two vacation, a couple weekends here or there, this is a great floor plan. It really is. I'm actually is. liking this one. Yeah, I am as well. Let's see how we do in the there's, bathroom. There's also some, a couple of drawers. Drawers underneath too. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's so, right. here's the key for me. Toilet and shower. So, this toilet's actually good. So, for the tall and fluffy, definitely thumbs up. Okay. Six foot four. Drink. All right. Next to me on my right, countertop and sink. Nice little vanity, nice decent sized countertop. You've got a little bit of storage underneath there and you've got a little bit of storage up there. Nothing really down there to speak of. Um, you've got cabinet up top there for all them drugs and then a little one here. Behind me is where you put all your linens. So you've got a nice spot for all the linens. Um, again, you're going to have to roll them up. I wouldn't get too you know, towels that are too fluffy, but you can get some towels in there. <laughs> so here's the big one. Yeah, this, look, it, it's not exactly centered, but it's f this one for sure is far enough to the left that I have space. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like this one. Yeah. I really do. I do too. Yeah. I mean, we're not into tiny travel trailers. Again, this would not be enough space for what we need it for, for our life and our lifestyle. But for, for a tiny travel trailer, if you will, 
Yeah. This is the nicest one that I've seen floor plan wise. I, I agree. I really do like this. You've got everything that you need in here. Yeah. Love it. Yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go look at the next one. All right. So this is the biggest of the new ones. 